Okay, so today I was going to try to continue what I was doing last week on Saturday, which was some of the ROM hacks, like for Ocarina of Time. I was going to try to do some for Super Mario 64, but I don't really have enough time, so I'll just... I always do chess as almost like a filler episode, but at least here we can do like a different one that I haven't played. Like, the problem with some of these chess video games is that they're often just dead in terms of the player base. So, like, I played on Tuesday, my normal chess episode... I played that uh, Chess Evolved Online, which was really cool, <clears throat> where it's like a card game and you get all these custom pieces and you can like sort of build your deck, which is like your starting position. But the problem is I couldn't find anybody to play against. Like I played against maybe one player the whole time. So there are a lot of these that I would find interesting. Maybe I'll try other ones too. So this one I think is mobile exclusive, which would explain why I haven't played it. Or I think I even did try to play it maybe a couple years back. But again, it would just be nice to see that anybody is actually playing it i'm good at chess i'm not very good at chess i'll say i'm good though i'm top 30 percent. get ready for a culture shock but i love these little variations and weird things that they do forget about your openings forget draws exist so it'll basically be like chess 960 because it's supposed to mess up the uh mess up the or maybe you can't even play it online at all which would make no sense but like, it'll be like chess 960, so what's the difference? But I guess it's the fact that the pawns can be fucked up, too. But it must somehow make it so that value is equal, right, where it's not unfair. Ranked? I don't get it. What is all this shit, dude? Even if it was only against bots, it would still be fun, I guess, but... Help. You can take with the queen. Holy shit. Oh, wow, you already... Well, I guess I have another queen, though. This is where it makes it sort of unfair because of the fact that... Um... It seems like I have multiple queens. I'm in a castle with my queen here. Now, that's what I call a queenside castle. But it doesn't even make sense, though, because some of it's just so unfair. You pin it down to there. Okay, dude, okay. Why wouldn't you just take it, even? <clears throat> take here, take here, you can take a knight, you choose not to. But no, like, maybe this is the problem right here, just the fact that you... are able to not really do anything. And the reason why you can't do anything is because of the simple fact that... What? Uh, look, look how many queens I have, even. This is really bad just from a balance standpoint, like, what the fuck, dude? Um, how the fuck do I just attack this goddamn bishop? He's taking something there. I don't really care. I'm just trying to give a whole bunch of checks. We can do like, do it like this. We take it here. You can give a check. It doesn't really matter. You go there. You go there. We'll get some sort of accidental mate. That is covered. This isn't covered. Wait, how do I do it now? Um, whatever, bro. Bro, how is it not me? Like, what am I supposed to do? Fuck is going on. Okay. You could try to promote or some shit, I guess. No, but this one's kind of jacked out where it gives you too much favor. So, is like too much material. Is there not a case where you can actually. I just can't find a mate if there is one. Like, it's. You always expect it to be like way too easy where. Like, how is it not mate? How? It's gonna be like a stalemate. What the fuck is this? Of course, this is just some position you should study and just know. It'd be easier to just do it with the fucking... With the king, actually. Just do it with the king and the queen. I can't figure out how to do it. Why is it that hard to do with the bishop? Like, I understand generally how to do it. But...
victory rank change, but why do the ranks matter? Because you want to play it online. Each war's difficulty represents how good or bad you are versus the AI. Okay. In rank mode, each time your rank goes up, you get tougher boards. Although the AI never gets smarter, its pieces get better. Really? That's maybe the problem right here. The whole point of a game like this is if you can play online, which I guess you can't. Like, what do you mean? 1v1. 1v1 is a two-player mode, device multiplayer. Put your phone or tablet between you, for fuck's sake. Free play is what? Free play is a mode for training against boards of any difficulty. Ranked mode is, again, still the boss, though, I think. Weekly challenge, daily board. Why can't you... Night colors, lost pieces, 100 undos, 1v1 mode. What kind of a bad design? That, that's what's really bad about it. You're trying to tell me that... Even though it, you know, a definitely balanced game, but you can still make it so the material is even. It's just... Let, let me actually look this up. You're trying to tell me that you can't play it online? Like, what would be the point of it, then? That's the whole appeal of games like this. Really bad chess. Play online. And I'm guessing you just can't do it. Um, well, I was really bad chess and never made online multiplayer. Seems like the perfect gambling game since variance is bad. People can still win. Battle versus chess has this mode. Uh, let's see what that is. Although some of these will probably be on PC. Battle versus chess. But again, it's a Steam game. And of course, we know all about those. Is that they're always fucking dead. Um, right, let's look at Steam charts. So maybe I'll look at some other mobile type chess games and just see if there's anything unique. Battle versus chess, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, there's two players. Like, that was the problem. Like, with Chess Ultra or some other type of thing. Like, let me just look in the store overall. Just for, uh... And, of course, this is one of those rare occasions where I'm playing a mobile game two days in a row uh, with PvZ Heroes, but that was at least a momentous occasion. So let me look for something to do with Chess. So we have... Chess Universe, Chess Master, like, like I should just play each one until I... That could be kind of fun, like a permanent thing. I'll play each chess game on here until I lose a game or something. Chess Universe Play Online, it's got to say Play Online. Uh, offline board game. Chess, this is the one that has this icon that's always on YouTube. Online and Offline. Okay, let's just try this. It has 5 plus million downloads, which... I don't know what to make of it. This is really dumb, but I mean, I, maybe I should just have made this a mobile game type of day period where I can just play like random stuff on mobile and try it out. But let's go ahead, we'll try this. Test Universe. I mean, any of these can be fun. Now, I don't know if this one's even mechanically different the way that... Uh, and of course, you have to deal with the black bars. No, thank you. Wait, whoops. I, I don't know what I hit. Play versus friend. Play, play online, please. That's all we need. Uh, we could do a five-minute game just for the fuck of it. But again, are you going to be able to find anybody or not is the whole thing. I guess you are. Uh, it's their turn, right? Or I'm already out of my prep with the King's Indian. See, the pieces are kind of... Oh, no, that's just the... The 22nd thing is just, see, now I'll, I'll be the bottom feeder clown. I'm going to bully all these people and just farm them, and that's it. Like, like you really think, let, let's just encapsulate this moment right now. You really think player 11055714, 836 rating, do you think in your life you have any chance of beating me? Like, even a zero, yeah, yeah, we get it. You have a zero negative percent chance of beating me. Not because I'm even good, but, like, do you understand do you comprehend who you're playing against right now? No, you should have resigned. I mean, fuck it. There, there's no way. It's impossible, dude. Some of the people I've beaten, some... Yeah, yeah, fuck you, dude. Fuck reward, find new opponent. I don't know whether these are bots or not, to some extent, even online, but we'll do our degenerate, typical opening stuff that we know. And it's not like, oh, he did... He resigned because of the rating, because of the simple... He's doing emojis and stuff. Uh... Let's go to here. GM can't, or GAM can't, instead of GM can't. Oh, look at, look at these effects, though. This is actually kind of cool. 
Now you can go here, but if you go here, it's problematic, isn't it? Because of the simple fact, actually, I don't know how exactly I play that. Like if you did go there, what would I do? He's already making the cardinal sin of like, don't move the same piece twice in the opening, which is kind of common sense, but yeah, I'm already sort of out of my prep situation where I don't know exactly what happened there. Or like what I would have done hypothetically if he did that. Or like if you go there to attack with the queen, I guess you could just like raise it or something, but. but my development is far superior. And so therefore you get to, it's just like an excuse to play chess. Like it doesn't matter. I do like the visuals though, actually. This is kind of cute. And you can probably build up your cosmetic. What you need for chess, see this is something very basic. What you need for the game of chess is something ubiquitous like a, like a one-off thing, right? Why is there not one decisive game, like chess video game that everybody plays and that everybody knows and everything like that, right? Why is that not a thing? And the reason why it's not a thing is because of the simple fact that I actually don't know, right? One chess video game that everybody plays or one chess website, like, oh, Chess24 was dead and FIDE Online Arena. Like, why are those so dead? Wait, what is he doing? Why are those so dead when you get to, <clears throat> when you get to basically, what the fuck is he doing? You know, it's just chess. Like, why does it really matter? But, and you feel bad almost for like try harding and thinking too hard here, but it seems like he's almost lo losing on purpose. I don't really feel convinced by this per se. No, I like the UI and everything, so I mean, we could play this one until I lose, which just isn't going to happen, probably ever. That's the whole thing. Who would really be playing this? But I guess you might make fun, oh, ha ha, but what, what's the difference? It's just chess, like, it's the same thing. It's not like... But it would be a question of how competitive it is, which you have to really not be too sure. Like, why would people be playing it? There's plenty of chess games you can play on your phone. This one is pretty popular, though. It has, like, 5 million-plus people on there. But no, I was almost hoping for ones that have sort of variations on the game, where it's not just, like, standard chess. You can't tell, really, sometimes how bad these people are. Like, in my first game ever, I wasn't as bad as this guy, because it's like, look, man. I feel like the bottom feeder effect that I always make fun of people, like, oh, haha, I was better on my first playthrough of the game than you or something, but... Like, people sometimes do that, and wow, or Path of Exile with sort of hindsight bias type stuff. But genuinely speaking, you know, not everything I'm doing is like that, but part of it is just... I don't know. You can hit that, it's pinned down, everything's good, there's nothing you can do with this. Let's demolish the 751 on an inflated mobile game. Th this is where you're exiled to when you're too bad to play on the proper actual sites. If you hit that, I can hit it again. If you don't, I can hit the bishop itself. But no, like, why did he just give up his queen like that the one time? You're about to get back ranked, too, because you can't even do anything with the bishop itself. I think you're just a... No, you're not really, though. You can keep moving shit around a little bit, but, I mean, you could hit here and then there. It's going to be mate in one pretty much no matter what. But yeah, I, I like the whole, uh, are these actually real players, though? I, I need to know, right, for my little psychological benefit. How do you really know if these are players or not? If they seem so bad. Past lessons, I, I don't know what to tell you, aside from just keep doing it. Tournaments. Valhalla, Olympus, Babylon, Coliseum. Uh, I don't know what that would mean in the context of... Whatever, let's just play another one. It seems active, at least if these are players. The most active mobile game since uh, PVZ Heroes, apparently, because that's always so easy to find a match, which I'm still skeptical about that. It's definitely bots in there and shit. Or wait, why did I even do that one? I hear, I, I don't know, we're already out of my prep, but not even sure what's happening. We gotta be a little careful. This dude is 1167. You go like this, you go like this, I take, take. 
or something. If you go there, I take, you take, it's not the greatest. You go here, it's fine. You're going to try to castle here. And if you can do that, then... Oh, you're double hitting this, which is sneaky. Because if you were to move the bishop, you would take there. If you were to not move that, you would lose that. Or no, 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 you wouldn't. You go here, I take, you can just take. No, but you would take, I would take, you would take, I would still take, but it would still be awkward. So they canceled queen side, which is unusual. This is actually probably fine. Yeah, why did I even do that with the bishop? That wasn't necessary at all. Or now you'll hit that. Or you can still hit it after the... Yeah, let's see if they're actually good enough to do that. I'm just doing this to test them, clearly. This is actually fine with me still. Like, I don't care, but it's like... You go to here, I, I can still win, but... I'm not playing particularly well. That you can only do in the context of... So basically, the bishop is... Not in a very good spot, so I'd be fine with trading it, I guess. Uh, that's not. Oh wow, I'm probably practically throwing, but no, no, I can still beat him because we've. Seen, or again, at the worst, I would draw him because how is he really going to beat me? But I fucked up a number of things. This is what happens when you take it like just all too lightly. Now here, you couldn't actually take it because then you would lose the rook itself, obviously. So you have to. Be very careful with that whole idea. So if you go to here, I could like a best case double take, but I don't know if I even want to do that. Let's go like this just for the fuck of it. So now you're kind of trapped in there. You got to get out. We're going to harass you a little bit. How about that? But then you'll take this. We can go to here. No, 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 no. I don't actually know. Gotta be careful about what rooks are either if you want to move, because they're not really good things to do. We're trying to push that all the way through, which is maybe not the best idea. And then you're trying to get it where the queen can actually attack onto here somehow. If I raise this, everything's actually fine. You're going to push that to there. I mean, there's just a few minor little things I messed up, but nothing that would rise to the level of actually fucking up a potential draw position. And so you're still able to draw it, so it would just more so come down to time. You can hit this now, and I'm surprised that he's letting me do that, because this is a very dangerous thing to allow to happen. Right, regardless of what you do here, was that really worth it now is the question. And the answer is... I could still take and then take back. They would take, I would take... Which itself is very dangerous because now you're losing the potential fact of that pawn. Uh, the queen just can't get a good opening to get involved here. If my queen could attack with this double stacked rook thing, it would be perfect, but he's going to open something that's very dangerous. If I take, I lose the queen, so of course I can't do that. And I'm worried about the king's safety, there's no question. But now if you take, I could take the thing. And so therefore, or there's a number of things you could actually do, because you're looking at it like, you could put this here if you had a cover. So even, well, whatever, you, you wouldn't do it yet. Now at least I can give a check with the queen, and you're almost mated. Right, isn't that already mate? Because you can go like there. It, well... If you go back, I can obviously... Or you can't even go back. You go there, I can't really do anything. You can obviously block with a certain amount of stuff. Which I don't fully understand, but... 
this opens up the incredible possibility of doing something with the actual thing. With the actual, um... If you go to there, that's fine. Let's go to here now. And at that point, you could go to here. And at this point, you could go to there. And now you get to kind of choose which one to take. This should just be it. Or wait. How the fuck is it still not made, bro? Okay, I'll, I'll just do it <clears throat> for the sake of speed here. They have a couple past pawns stuff here, so we're winning on the pawn situation. Which that alone should be enough to win me the game. Right, if you just commit to this side, like we'll we'll commit to this. This one could be problematic, so we're gonna go to here. And we can cover both of those with this, and then we'll just let the king ride it like a car, like my old technique. Right, so do you really think you can stop this? And the answer is... You kind of can, but... In fact, you miraculously can, which is quite strange. I don't know how that's even possible. Like, how? How did you just do that? He has very few pawns left, so it comes down to the fact of... You could actually cover both, even from where you are. Oh my fucking god, dude. Bro. I was obviously winning, it's okay, we'll get a draw, I don't care. I really don't. I just have this like thing where I get almost bored during the course of a game, like it gets so annoying. We still have that one potentially, and the reason why we have it is because we had so many to begin with. So if we just push this one all the way, we'll still get a queen out of it. Otherwise, it's perfectly fine. What are you going to do? We're going to try to take this one. If you check to there, we can still cover it. The worst case, you get a draw, but this guy's actually pretty fast, too. I mean, at least this more so stands for the notion that you're going to... Um, that it's more like a real player, because it's definitely not... I don't know, that, that was no small achievement that you just did there, whatever this guy did. So you should be able to win this, but would I be able to rook mate? Like, would I actually be able to mate you with a rook and a king? Under this circumstance, I probably wouldn't be able to, and so I'll probably still flag. Right, you'd be a fool not to take it, then for- Oh, look, look, he's giving me the benefit of the doubt, but that was actually a hard game. You got a key for completing a quest, have to collect your reward, I don't really care. Let's go back. <laughs> Oh, here we go. You gotta watch an ad for a fucking thing. Sometimes these ads can be a little bit questionable, though, so maybe I shouldn't show it. Yeah, we gotta make a mobile session where I do uh, Raid Shadow Legends or, like, this game or some shit that we always see the ads for. There are some mobile games that I'm sure are pretty good, kind of like the old-school Flash games that I always used to love. Right? They can certainly be good. But, like, Clash of Clans is one that I just... I had played last year that I finally got around to um, uploading now. But what I don't like is the fact that... How do I even get out of this shit? Um, I didn't really get the gameplay element of it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like one of those games that makes you more aware of its business model than the actual game. Like the actual gameplay and mechanics. Let's do another one. That one kind of scared me. But you can see that it always comes down to time when I feel like... You know, people are able to potentially beat me. Look at this slow clap. 11.50, whatever. Okay, let me play this one a little more focus. It shows you what an impact the opening actually has, too. Like, if you just... You know, if, if I play it sort of simply and, and don't do anything wrong, which that shows you I at least know openings better than what I even give them credit for. Right, even as much as I say I never study them, just from playing the same sort of stuff over and over, right, seeing the same positions, I have kind of learned it to some degree. Like, all what I'm doing is not intuitive at all. I won't pretend like I really know it. What was all that? You can just take to here. Now you can't castle, and you go to here. You're gonna get destroyed, bro. Can't you tell? Can't you just tell? Oh, maybe maybe I shouldn't have done that. 
I get a little bit too cocky maybe sometimes where, you know, you can go like that. I'm, I'm trying to be like all cute and fancy. I'm sort of out of touch with, in fact, this is almost disingenuous. Maybe I shouldn't have done this because I haven't played regular standard chess in a while and I've deliberately been avoiding doing it because I've been doing my permanent variant gauntlet. So I, I get ruined by a fucking mobile game here. Now, even if you don't want to trade, you would go there. I would go take, okay. And see how I'm going to even get a fucked up position because of that. Because of the simple fact that you're able to... Like, I almost want to raise this and all this is covered and then you get to kind of... Attack it on the... Oh, shit, I was just trying to do that. Yeah, make let me make illegal moves like in Shogi where we can just fucking do whatever we want. You go to here, whoops, I almost misclicked. If you take, I take. If you take, I still take. It's double stack pawn, it's awkward. You can try to double stack in such a way that you get to... Well, you can't do it now. You'll just take it. Yeah, like, why would anybody ever be playing chess like this is the question. And for the convenience of a mobile aspect, I can understand. But for the simple fact of this, uh... I don't know, I don't know. It wouldn't matter on your phone screen, you see, because this black bar shit wouldn't be there, but... Is this like even a borderline octopus knight? Let's try to go here. So we're at least blocking the open file. We raise, they take, I take, they take, I still take. They can't do anything with the knight because it's too shitty of a piece to actually take. They take, I take, they take, I still take. So now... This is where sometimes my bad habits come in past pawn. Bad habits come into play, but like I'll do stuff just for the sake of doing it at times. Right, just because. There's no real reason to, but... If you take I take there, you could try to do this, but then it raises certain questions that I can't guarantee it's safety in the long term, right? In fact, I can almost guarantee that it's not going to be safe. Um, we could try to go maybe like this and take there. And there's very few avenues from which you'd be able to cover, well... We just go here or something. Go here with the king, go there with the thing. I don't understand how to get the knight through. You go here, you... Oh, shit. You can attack onto there, and it would be very hard to cover. If not, oh, oh my god. But that kind of leads to the same shit, I guess, anyway. You go to there, I could go to, like, there and cover it like that, or cover it with the rook even itself. Okay, now you're being a little too cheeky about this, so let me see. You could go to, like, there and cover it perpetually. Look at all these little faces and emojis that proves it's not a bot. Um, you could give me a check there, which is a little bit concerning, no question about it. I was doing well for a while, and then I started to fall off, like I always do. See, I'm trying to promote this pawn, you see, but it's literally impossible to actually do that in the game of chess. You're just not able to actually do anything ever. You just kind of do it cosmetically. Unless you're a grandmaster, you're never going to promote this shit. I could try to take there. If he raises, I can also take. There's not really much else going on. I can try to take some other... Avenue probably the best move might just be to push it. So even if I take it's not that big of a deal and this is Very 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 dangerous Because you're already in a position where wait what? Well, it would have been dangerous if you didn't just do that if you go to here, I can take. If you go to here, I won't really be able to even cover it, so I have to accept the fact that I'll lose that. Uh, you go down to there, and... You go down to there, and you check, but so what? And then you... I don't care. If you take, I still take. Not the best positioning for my pawns. Like, it's gonna end up in some sort of stale endgame. See, this is what I hate. Even when you're playing this mobile fucking game against random people, it's this drawish nature that comes out that you realize is just how the game works. 
I don't know how to even do this, man. This one is so fucking cute, isn't it, dude? You're just gonna let it- I don't understand this position, man. What the fuck? I'm just being lazy. Like, I'm not- I can obviously do so much more than this. You're so fucking annoying, bro. Like, go ahead, take it. I don't- I don't care. You could have at least covered that and then still took it, I guess. It's so fucking dumb, dude. I'll try to take on the other side. I don't know. You probably won't be able to cover this one in time or something. You'll come there, you'll cover it, I'll just spam check, which is often even the best thing to do. So, you're gonna try to push there, and the rook is going to be almost unable to cover it in the process. Um... You keep going with that, I can take here. My king's not gonna be able to cover up the ground, so he's actually gonna do some god level pawn promotion. Like, it doesn't even make fucking logical sense, but okay, dude. Can I actually beat him to the punch here? And the answer is. Okay, okay, dude. If you raise, I take, you're gonna raise the other one. I don't know what the fuck this pawn structure actually is right now. I have no idea. Try to get a threefold repetition? Like, I don't understand that, but you should probably be able to just do this. Fun and interactive game, by the way. This is why chess is so good. No matter where you play it, this is always what happens. So, I don't know even how to deal with this. You would go here, and then you would effectively have to sack it anyway, which just doesn't make sense how that happened, but okay. Like, what the fuck? Let's see if he'll be able to do the Rook King. How the fuck did that happen? No, it's, it's just like pure laziness. Like, I'm usually pretty lazy even with how I play, but this is especially extreme. The fact that you have a pawn on the other side too is pretty fucking amazing. It should be like a stalemate or some shit, bro. Whatever, man. Like, that, that's an iconic game. This guy is a fucking... Whatever, dude. Doesn't even make fucking sense how that happens, but the point is it should have at least been drawable. That just shows you where your own, your own worst enemy. Like, it's impossible to actually lose a game of chess. Like, you, I don't know if people realize about the game. It's literally impossible to lose at some sort of moderate, low level, or, like, even level. You cannot lose. Every game is a fucking draw just by design. It is mathematically impossible to actually lose. But people always, especially at the low level, they maybe have that bad habit that they treat the game like it's an actual game, meaning it should actually have an outcome, and you don't want to just waste your time, but then you're just playing the wrong game. Chess master board game. Let's try to look for one that's like actually uh, like with weird stuff. Dr. Wolf, I think I've looked at that before. Auto chess is like Dota type some shit. Chess stars. Too many of these are just like the standard fucking thing. Like just regular chess. Battle of Polytopia is on here. Uh, Mo card game chess online. I don't know why I have to feel like it has to be on here only. Chessable is like some sort of. Stratego, I, Stratego, I don't even know what that is. Tabletopia, test for kids. Imagine losing to a guy in fucking, what was it even called? Uh, some kind of cutesy test universe. Like, imagine losing that, dude. I cannot even believe it. Test games with different rules kind of is what i'm looking for like chess battle online or something not not so much variants but like a game you know like chat what was that chess battle online or something what 
what was it even called? I don't even remember. I just played it like the other day. Chess Universe or something. I don't know. Best Chess Games like what the fuck was that one called? I don't even remember. Chess Evolved. I think Chess Evolved Online. Similar games. Is there a game similar to Chess Evolved Online? The game released on Steam, PC version, Chess Remix. Uh, I don't know whether people would actually be playing it, though, is the biggest problem. But no, that was kind of a cool idea. There's got to be other ones, but I don't know how exactly you would go about finding them. That one was at least aesthetically satisfying, I guess, but... That is truly, hmm, that's the only thing I learned, I guess, in the difference of chess variants, battle missions, um, raiding. You're just not going to be able to play it. Like, there's just never going to be any players in any of these, so that's the problem. Like, let me just look through every single chess game. Like, I don't even care. Prove your chess IQ level 1 million plus downloaded. Okay, fine, let's try it. And can you play it online or not? It won't even tell you, and then you'll have to go through. Uh, let's just try it. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm even doing with the session, but <laughs> Saturday, just as a reminder, is my format where I'm supposed to play something I've never played before, which technically I haven't played these, but does it really count when it's just a different, I don't know, when it's just a different visual and shit? So the thing that would trigger me, like how it triggered me with that first game, really bad chess, is that it doesn't actually have online, which makes no logical fucking sense at all, because it's just dumb. Like, who wants to play against a fucking bot? Why would I want to do that? I want to stroke my ego by beating these low-rated bottom feeder fucking clowns. Okay, dude, this is so fucking lame. Imagine having a game on mobile and not letting it be multiplayer. Like, isn't that the whole point? Like, why would people buy microtransactions for your shitty games if you can't even show them off to other people? I don't know how much space this would actually even have for what I'm trying to do. The really bad chess didn't even matter because you just can't even play it. Right, there's no... So that one... It's not like... Oh, shit, hold on. That one, it's not even like I failed to do it, it's that I I wasn't able to actually do it at all. Hungry Horses, Chess Puzzle. Uh, chess Universe, I actually lost, so that's a legitimate failure, I have to accept. And that is one that I'm not going to be able to ever understand. Wild Rift is what we gotta play, but no, I'm basically just typing in chess and going one by one with every chess game, but at least if you can play online, Chess offline board game, so I'm going to assume that doesn't work. Chess AI Factory Limited. Like, why doesn't it just tell you if you can do that or not? Also play this game on PC with some sort of beta thing. Ultimate Chess Teacher, but does that mean you can play it online or not? One of the best games, Big Gear Remote teaches you how to play the game. Challenge Level 4, I'm going to assume... It's like playing Queen's Gambit, room full of chess wizards. Chess, playing a computer is not fair, but there's different levels to the computer. Okay, let's look at it again. I can't really show all this, so it's just fucking... Or I don't really want to, anyway. Okay, it should just say... Okay, here, chess clash, miniclip.com. That was like a Flash game website, what the fuck? <laughs> Combining the two greatest evils of the gaming world... Uh, mobile games and Flash games, even though I always was a big fan of Flash games. Right, some of them were quite inspired. Sunny, Sunny 2 were really good, or like Super Mario Crossover was a cool idea. Skyfire was pretty cool. These are all from back in the day. That's how you know I'm like a legit gamer, because I have those, you know, <laughs> references, name drops to have. So let's try it. This could be a fun thing to do in like a long-term sense. Like really try to see how long some of these things can go on for, but... I'm playing a Flash game in a mobile fucking browser, basically. 
mini clip. So can I play online against somebody? That's all I want to do. Or maybe it'll be online only against. Why is it like lagging though? What the fuck is this? Is this a person or what? What the hell is going on? Jack made the king. I don't know if Crystal is a person or what. Can I put my little, uh, why does it feel so laggy? Th this is the flash. Yeah, let's actually see. All right, I guess we just can't. It'll take an hour. I'm going to flag waiting to see their profile. Uh, rank, beginner, crystal 68, total winnings 400, experience boost. Games won one out of one. Okay, you can tell you're already bad, but... You gotta get it in your head that, like, people are bad, but you're as bad as them if you think like that. Because, like, like what are you doing, bro? What, why are you doing that, sis? Sis thinks she's Judith Polgar, that she can fucking sack a piece and still win. Giving me peace odds in move four. Like, what is this, dude? You must be a bot. You must be a bot. Like, what do you... Bro is farming bots in dead mobile games. You go to here, I don't give a shit. Dude, first of all, moving the knight this much in the early game is stupid. It's actually almost trapped. You can easily just take it. Like, what are you doing? See, even if you've never played the game before, you would know that... You know what I mean? Like, why would you just be giving stuff up for nothing? And, like, why are you moving so fast, too? You take, take. That's perfectly fine. You could sit the night here, actually, and it would be fine, but... Oh, yeah, I'm more than happy to trade. See, at least that's not bad, because you are covered, and it is a trade. And so now you get to go here. No, but see, that, that's my biggest problem. Is sometimes I won't even follow my own advice to the extent that... Or you can just take there, which that makes that a mistake. But clearly, I have something up my sleeve, even though I actually don't. I would take, you would take, and then I would have done something there. Give me, like, the emotes to show that you're a player and actually, whatever. Get all these little voice quote lines, whatever, go here. Now you can unleash the knight into something. So if the queen had taken there, maybe that's something I could have done. So now you get to just take there, perfectly fine. Like, how did I lose that last game in the other fucking one? How does that even make sense? But first of all, you can't even take that. You can take, take, and then you can't take back. You can't take that at all, which means we're almost set up for a promotion if I just simply move the stupid at What? What do you mean? Uh... What? Oh, I'm trying to do that. Now, if you take with the rook, I can still take back. Which you won't even do. Which means I can just take this, which makes no sense at all. I guess I forgot to plug in my computer somehow. I think I was blaming somehow the game for that too one time. I resign. But it'd be funny if you didn't actually resign, but you just say I resign as like a text chat bubble. Okay, let me plug this shit in because apparently my computer can't handle a mobile game. buy a gaming laptop they said it'll be fun they said and then i end up just playing chess most of the time on here anyway or even like hard games and showing like that which i mean as much as i make fun of mobile games i would feel that i would feel that i don't know what all okay 647 players okay that's actually impressive what is all this stuff about though i don't get it berlin london what does all this mean bro 
Entry, oh, okay, entry fee. Some kind of business model gambling type shit that I would not encourage. 26 players online, 647. Okay, I'll just do that one because there's so many players in there. Delhi. Tara. Everybody inspired by the Botez sisters, clearly, to be a uh, next generation a female, whatever. I like how it's the king saying checkmate the king. But you can already create a double stack there. I play it like I'm in a rush, right? Like I have this superiority conflict. I have to get a hint. What do you mean, get a hint? You can't do that. There's no lifelines in chess. What is this? Who wants to be a millionaire? What the fuck is going on? Why don't you just play properly? Clearly, it must be a bot. Games one, one out of one. I mean, it could just be people playing. What are you doing, bro? See, I don't respect this. I don't respect this. Like, why are you doing this? <laughs> it's actually checkmate. You have to, or you'd have to give up the queen. I don't understand. Why are you moving so fast, first of all? What is going on, dude? You don't have to be good to know all that. Like, I'm not doing anything. Match analysis. Yeah, what kind of engine do they have here? Allen, 500, okay. You start. Oh, wait, why did the pieces look like sort of different here a little bit? This is all part of his gambit plan, even though it's not. Or I'm even more eager to trade sometimes when I feel like I have the advantage, which maybe isn't always true, but like just to get it o just to get it over with faster. Like the whole concept of just taking a piece back is surprising to me that people don't get that. Right? Even if you don't know what you're doing, why wouldn't you just capture something? You know, like why would you just hang something or just not capture something? Why why is that? Yeah, that would be so cringe in real life to have, to have to declare a check. You have to actually say check or it doesn't count or something. Or certain whatever stupid procedures you have to do. You can take, I can easily take back. If you don't take, it's fine. I can go to here. I don't care. Oh, shit. I actually wondered something there. I try to trade this. Even if you do, you fuck up the pawn. So I'm already playing kind of lazy. But when they blunder something. So like this is the biggest mistake then that people make. Is just that they play too fast. It's a 10 minute game. Like why do you have to. But it feels almost insulting to your intelligence. That you would have to take so long. But it's just the nature of the game. There's nothing wrong with it. You raise, I take. If you take, I take. It's really hard to tell whether some of these people would actually be lost. Now, you can't take with either one. I would take, you would take. I would take, you would take, I would take, you would take, I would still take. We can push this over to here. Oh no, I can't. You still have to watch out, but I kind of want to develop this by attacking on a dark square, which he gives me the perfect ability to do that. So now you're covering these together, and you are also able to take this with no repercussions. Oh, is that? I don't even know that it's checkmate. Because of the pawn itself. And yeah, with only three seconds spent, given the increment or whatever we're playing with. This is kind of not what I was try trying to do, though, because I wanted to see some sort of other... I wanted to see some sort of other thing with respect to... Yeah, why you gotta turn chess into a casino? And why are all these people like... What, what are all these pictures? It makes it seem like they're fake. Why does everybody have like some sort of stock footage? Three out of four games won. Okay, dude. And all the piece sets are different like every time. 
Okay, what did that have to do with anything? Whatever. Either they're bots or they're low-rated players who suck anyway. It's not like seeing a bot is even a bad thing. Like, it could be better than anybody we're playing, but... You can go to here, you raise it there, I don't really care. Looks weird when the horse is just looking the opposite way, though. Now, now you do this, and then you show that you actually know what you're doing. Show it, show it. You're so fucking stupid, dude. You're so fucking stupid. I think you're supposed to go like this, maybe? You take, I take... Wait, what? Well, you had the right idea, but then you didn't do it. I don't understand. You do this little cheeky fork that technically you win the piece back. Then at least I win the pawn back, but then you didn't even do it. Yeah, th that's the sign of boss. If they all have like single names like that. And then they also have like a picture, which maybe isn't that unbelievable, but... And they all make these sort of bot type moves that don't make sense because... It's not about whether they're good or not. They made an amazing move there, but then they didn't actually follow up on it. Okay, bro. When low-rated players sacrifice pieces, it's a blunder. When we do it, it's a... Uh, it's a tactic. It's a gambit. Whoops. Like, if you give up... Uh, if you give up the ability to basically... Whatever. We'll still win that back without an obvious mistake. Once again, me getting too cocky here. So if you just could rearrange these a little bit, you'd be in good shape. I could totally do Like, I'll just do it super slow paced. Too. I'll move this here, move this here, do something dumb. If you take, I take back. Whatever, bro. I don't care. You could check, you could take there again. I don't care, I'm still doing it. Because look at how far your king is having to go for this shit. If you take, I take back. We're hitting this, which isn't actually doing anything. If you take there, I can hit there. If we put this here, then we could just take and you can't take back, also. You can put it to here, for one. If you go back in that direction, if you don't, then this is in danger, potentially. I'm kind of forgetting about the whole, uh... I'm forgetting about the whole idea of basically being able to... Yeah, because I was really going to promote that, so you got a sack for it. Like, what the fuck? Uh, that's pinned down, so if only I could attack it, but the knights are basically an irrelevant piece that doesn't actually exist in the game. Or I could have, like, moved the queen and then guaranteed the take that way. If you go down, I take, and you almost have to. Okay, bro. If you take, I simply take back. It's going to be almost a borderline stalemate position. Heck, man, I don't even realize that I'm getting them. It's not quite as satisfying to play here because I don't know how much of real players these actually are. It just doesn't even feel like it, but they could just be bad. But how can they be bad in such an obvious way where... Or, oh, that must be what it is. Log in with your social network. That's why we're seeing these sort of things. It must be like a picture from their Facebook or some shit. This is like Farmville. We're beating up on Farmville fucking teenagers or some shit. Right, who are playing it in that same capacity where you like link your Facebook account or something. I would always see ads for that. Okay, okay, dude.
just remember, we just lost a game in one of these mobile fucking chess games, so how that's possible, I don't really know. It's one thing if you're actually on the website, but... What? It's actually covered, too, so even if you took... You're very limited with your spaces here. You could like hit it here and then you'd basically be able to just, you could make some crazy play here because you could just like, you know, you could dive for it and promote. Like you could literally do it. Yeah, if you go here, it's over because if you take, I promote, if you don't take, I, whatever. I saw that, like, oh, Reza lost in, like, fucking nine moves to Fabiano somehow. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. But you didn't do it because you're a bot. Bro. Like, all these female players, supposedly, but w girls don't play chess. If you could take, you could actually double take it, I guess. We're getting so cocky, but then we're going to end up losing somehow, but we just can't. Because they're not actually playing the game at all. Like, who actually does this shit? But I guess if you do it on your phone, you would feel that. Okay, let me do another one just for the novelty of it, because this one's actually kind of boring me. But no, this is kind of a cool idea just to try out mobile games, and I never thought I'd say that, but just whatever. It's meant as a total throwaway novelty. That one, we stay undefeated. I almost wish I hadn't lost in the other one, but... All I'm doing is I'm just typing in chess and just looking up everything to do with it, which sadly, there aren't enough that I'm seeing that actually have, like, variants to them. Right, they all just seem like the same old boring type shit. Polytopia, Le Chess, obviously. Checkers. <laughs> Trading card game, but not actually chess. Chess Clash of Kings. Uh, it says CC Games, but that must be the developer. That's not actually, like, oh, it's a collectible card game. Champion Chess. I mean, it's all the same shit. Chess for Kids. Teacher Approved. And that's, like, buychess.com, I guess. Hearts Card Game. I guess maybe I should show this, but I don't really care. Chess Adventure for Kids. Um... Chess Legend instead of Chess. Uh, chess Crusade. Yeah, any of these that even would happen, uh, if any of these have variants and stuff, they would not work because... Or, I mean, again, there wouldn't be actual players playing them. That's what Chess relies on more than anything, right? Like so many of these other games. Oh, Chess Ultra or something. It doesn't matter because... Real Chess. Now, is it going to be... Is it going to be actually multiplayer? Competitive multiplayer. Is it really, though? Play at level 3. Play it in tablet in 3D. Not really going to matter to me. I see, like, an online icon there, so I'll, I'll, I'll just try this one, I guess. But let me look up one that actually mentions variant. It can be fun even sometimes to play against AI, but... Chess variants Omni Chess. Didn't I try to do this, like, on a website? Chess Craft, but I think that one... That's the one I have on Steam. But the problem with it is the simple fact that Variance Battle Missions. I think the problem is the simple fact that you're not able to actually uh, play it online, but it is really cool. 500,000 downloads. Right, almost like that's the most sumo chess, new. Ouroboros chess, or yeah, even that could be fun, like chess roguelike. Byzantine chess, what the fuck even is that? A circular chess game. I'm just kind of doing all of them just to see if so like, let's just try to speed run each of these. I, I speed ran every mobile chess game, pocket chess, chess puzzles, Dr. Wolf, 
Just PG and master. I don't know what that means. Visualize and calculate. Why do I need a game to do that? Just use your brain. Two more chess. I I'm curious to see what this actually is. Professional way of just how to make uh, your own pieces and stuff, which I should almost do. It's not chess, it's better. The game is fantastic, but the app missing undo is highly frustrating. Openings. Okay, that's good enough. So let's actually see what we have here. I downloaded a whole bunch of shit. So we have... Which one was on here before? Real chess, I think. What is chess clash? Is that the one I just did? Yes, it is. Okay, with the casino type shit. Let's just look at each of these. What is this one? Did I already do it? Um, yeah, I think it didn't have online. Let's see what real chess looks like, which I never really see for myself in real life because I never actually play over the board or anything. We would like to use cookies. I don't care. Oh my God. Targeting cookies. We don't need fucking targeting, dude. This isn't a first person shooter on console. Computer game, online game. Okay, go here. Okay. Uh, board size, piece size, don't really care. Uh, wait. But why would it... Why would all that stuff matter? Like, just let me find a match, auto match, yeah. Total time, okay, it's gotta be at least, like, fucking five minutes, though. You know, I'll even indulge the bullet stuff. 8.50 to 12.50, time per move. Yeah, how can time per move be 15 minutes if... What if I don't want those kind of things? Like, I don't want time per move and I don't want increment. I just want the raw time. But this one maybe at least seems active or it had like millions of downloads, I think. Yeah, th this is one of those stupid Saturday things that I keep messing up the format where, you know, where I just don't have time. So I say, fuck it, let me just play chess. But at least this one was a sincere effort to try to play something different. Like, uh, you know, at least these are games I genuinely haven't played. <clears throat> I should have just picked an opponent from the lobby there. Like, bro, why is this so hard? Rating a thousand five minute game. Let's play somebody with actual experience. Like this dude has played ten thousand games on. Sure, sure, fuck it. And that wait, it takes a minute to connect. Oh no, it just gives you a minute. At least this is good because it gets my three D board fetish out. You know that I always like the whole thing behind that. So here you can go like this. You can pin it down, which I typically don't like, but you can still do this. But generally speaking. Yeah, see, even this in itself is more... And, and actually, this is in... This is in uh, full screen, too, to whatever extent that matters. Like, how is that possible? This is supposed to be a mobile game. It's supposed to be, like, because of tablet or something that you'd be able to do this functionality, but a lot of mobile games don't have that. So they'll always appear in, like, some weird black bars type shit. I don't actually like that move, but... I should have just gone like out to here. Player 444. That means there's only 444 players who have ever played this game. Like why would the name be like that otherwise? Player 133. Go here, everything's fine. This is a five minute game. 2.5D is interesting, so like, that's almost what you get on the websites at time. No, not really, though. Oh, this actually looks kind of nice, though. I mean, this is kind of the same thing as what you see on the site, too, but it's nice that it gives you all those options. So let's give this some chance to escape. This doesn't really matter. Let's go like that. Go to here, I can still escape. If you go to here, I can still escape. 
You're attacking the queen, which is a cute move. You're also attacking this, which wouldn't be a fork, and it wouldn't even guarantee the take on there, but it's still annoying. You go to here, I take. You go to there, I take. Somewhere along the line, you want to go here just to either open up the bishop or at least open up the the rook attack onto there. Assuming that they're going to queenside castle, or I mean kingside castle. That move is a little bit iffy. Pending chess pass rewards. Take there, I take back. But no, this one's kind of just at least visually good because at least it's in full screen for whatever relevance that would have otherwise. Like, uh, on your phone, they would all be full screen anyway. Now this one will be double attacked immediately if you just get this knight out of the way. And even if you don't, I could like... I don't know. You bring out the knights, so but my development is adequate. Their king side is a little weird because they pushed this too far. They're probably trying to queenside castle. But no, didn't I see that this dude played like 10,000 games? Or maybe that was somebody else. He, he's baiting me with these fucking dark square things. If I get the dark square bishop there, it's beautiful. But it's not actually going to happen. You can probably just go here, actually. Right? No, I, I still can't believe I lost that one. So I could take here if you raise this. I could just take it, so either way, this is going to be very hard to- Or no, 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 I can't, because the knight actually covers it. Or now you're going to- maybe I should actually respect that idea, though. I would take, you would take, it, it might lead to something bad there, for sure. If I take the pawn, you'll take with that, then I'll take with this, then you'll take with this, then I'll take with this. That should actually work, because... Well, why do I have to give that up to do it? Oh, I'm going to be playing two balls here. But I should be able to take the knight no matter what. Now, in my brazen attempt to do that, you're going to end up being able to take here. So I don't know if that was the best move. You'll take with the rook... And then I'll just take with the queen, and then you'll take with the queen, and then I'll take back. So now at least the threat of this H file being open is neutralized. You could end up double stacking this in such a way that now you have no choice, or you do have a choice actually, but you could go to there, I can't take. I'm threatening this though, so now you almost are obligated to consider it. That you would take, I would take, and then you're going to lose this one probably too, because the position is just so fucked up. So I, I'm going to lose like potentially two pawns because of doing that. But you didn't double stack my pawn at least, so now there's no threat because also, you know, they're just not playing it the right way. But I'm playing actually completely terrible, even by what is sometimes relatively a low standard. I'm just doing, like, dumb stuff. Even there, I'm giving up this. So I want to try to create a double stack. We have the knight there. Okay, okay. Go to there. You attack the other one. I want to go raise this, create a double stack on the open file. If you go there, they can still take back. It's perfectly fine. You want to go to here for sure, which you can't do it because that's still in the way. So the knight is almost going to be borderline trapped if you simply move the rook to here. Because of the simple fact that you can't actually go anywhere, obviously. That's what it means to be trapped, in case you didn't know. But no, Bro has played over 10,000 games in this fucking version of chess alone. 
I guess I always under even that's fine. They would take, I would take, they would take, I would still take. They'd be giving up the knight nonetheless, right? And they have no choice now. They've never underestimated the knight's ability to fuck things up. What? Uh oh. If you hit this, I can still double take. If you take this, I can take. If you try to double take, I can still take. So I had thought that the knight was trapped, but now somehow it isn't. Even if you take there, it's trapped. If I had gone here, maybe it would have been. Right, because even if you can't cover it again, so if I went here, now you can't go anywhere with it. And so that would have actually worked probably better. But I mean, the Rook is still under attack now too. Uh, and he's just gonna flag, so isn't that fun and instructive? You can go like this. If he takes, I take. You can take there, that's perfectly fine. No, but this shows you like you play down to your competition or you're kind of sloppy sometimes where there's no need for me to really play like this, but I just do anyway. Right, like being even lazier than my style of play would necessitate. I'm always lazy, I'm always trade happy and stuff, but sometimes I just go too far with it. Rematch, exit, loser time is over. Help us grow the project. There's nothing really that special about it, dude. Allow chat. I'm gonna get banned. Oh shit. I'm gonna get banned for that shit. So I'm 1-0-0, and 100% zero, zero, win rate. But look at how many games some of these people have played. Like, bro, nine, I guess maybe if they're 1 minute, 13,000. Bro thinks he's Vichy. Like, look, at what is this, dude? What is this example of a human being? 882 rating after 30,000 games played. This is, you gotta watch my Pink Flamingo video, dude. Like, it's not that hard. It's not that deep, bro. Let's try it, just to clown him and show him the way the game is actually played. You must be the example you wish to see in the world, Gandhi. Bro, maybe playing bullet is your number one problem there. Like, sure, it doesn't seem as bad when you play 23,000 bullet games, but it is still pretty fucking bad. Like, oh, look, look at him go. He actually knows openings, or he acts like he knows what he's doing. The clicking and animation speed is a little awkward though, it doesn't doesn't quite work here. If he goes like that, I don't really care too much about it. It's oh But see he didn't even do it. He didn't even do it. Now even if you take that it doesn't matter because I well it's still better than just losing a piece outright, but it's okay. Oh my god, the clicking is not smooth at all, though, I'll say that. If you take, I simply take. There's nothing happening with this. You go to here, you go to here, it doesn't really do anything. You... Oh, shit. I mean, clearly I'm not playing very well. You hit this, if you hit this, you can't now. And... I don't know, what's going on? You trade this, you hit there, everything's perfectly fine. You go to here, I can still take, or it doesn't really matter. I'm just giving it up, like, this is what, uh... This is what... Speed chess will do to you. It'll make you play like a total clown. So maybe in that sense, he's not so bad, but he actually is. It's just, uh, 
It's just an actual little weakness of mine because he's gonna actually flag my dumb ass. Definitely trade everything off. You can't even pre-move or you can't you can't do anything. This fucking sucks. Not that that's why I'm blaming that I'm gonna lose, but it still would have been a fine position. It's just I'm gonna flag. Like there's nothing else. I'm just gonna flag. If you raise it, you can't even really take you. You got an octopus knight there. You got to move the other knight somewhere to here. You could have hit that one already. If you raise, I take. If you don't raise, I can take. You take. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Bro. 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 Okay, dude. I'm done. 20,000 20, plus games played to beat me in that. I guess speed really does matter. Okay, see you tomorrow.